Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we saw what formulas and functions are in Omni Studio and how we can use them to transform our data. We explored some basic functions and introduced ourselves to a very powerful function using which custom Apex method can be invoked from Omni Studio. The current video is a continuation of the previous one and I would highly recommend you to check out the same if you haven't already in order to understand this video. Today we are going to learn how Apex callable interface works. This knowledge will enable us to use the custom functions in Omni Studio. So let's dive in. A callable interface enables developers to use a common interface to build loosely coupled integrations between Apex classes or triggers even for code in separate packages. Agreeing upon a common interface enables developers from different companies or different departments to build upon one another solution. It belongs to system namespace and it has only one method that we need to implement. The call method of callable interface takes in as an argument the string action and a map of string and object that is going to be the arguments and in return it sends back the object. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. So I am in my dev console where I have implemented an extension class that is implementing callable interface. In the interest of time, I have the code handy. Let's see how this method is working. We have the call method. The call method is taking an action string and a map of arguments which is basically a JSON input. We are using a switch case and we are switching on the action string that we have received. Now we are going to match this action with the predefined methods that we are going to implement within this extension class. One of which is concat strings and the second one is multiply numbers. So based on what the action we are receiving, we would implement these methods. So if the received action string is concat string, we are going to call concat string method. I'm going to return the same. What this concat string is going to do is defined below. These are the actual methods that are going to be invoked based on the action received. So if we receive a string, we are going to return a concatenated string with the same value. If we receive a decimal number, we are going to return the multiplication of the same decimal number with itself. Let's try to see this extension class in action. We go to debug and we open execute anonymous window. We create an instance of extension class and we call the call method with the help of this created object. For the arguments, we are passing a string, literal, and a map of string and object, where the value is going to be 10 and the key is going to be decimal value. And in the end, we are just printing it on the console. Let's try to execute this. Mm. 
we check on debug only so that we can see our statements that are printed on the debug log and as you can see we had passed a value which was 10 and in the result we are getting 10 multiplied by 10 which is 100 let's try to change it and see what string we get in response for that we need two things first the action name which is predefined in our extension class and the second one is what key are they looking for in the arguments that has been received it is string value so let's go back and make some necessary changes Now in executing this we should get 1010. Let's see. And here is the result. Please keep in mind that this is not the ideal way to invoke the call function. We are doing it this way for the simplicity of this video. But the actual invocation would look something like this. Please comment down below if you would like to know more about callable interface in future videos. Alright, to sum up this video, we saw what a callable interface in Apex is and how it can be implemented. In the next part of this video series, we would see how we can leverage this knowledge to invoke custom functions from Omni Studio formulas. Until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.